Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here once again for another episode of Spewer for you as part of the Basement Collection by Edmund McMillan. In this game in particular, if you're interested in playing it, is of course named Spewer, and you can either find it as part of the Basement Collection, which you can buy for about 250 on Steam, or you can look for it yourself as part of a Flash game on one of many websites. I'll probably link to one of them below, we'll see. And here we are starting Chapter 5, the final chapter. Time to even the odds, says the level name. Let's take a look. Alright, so we have acid everywhere! Oh, run! Run! We did not make it fast enough. Sorry, that little spewer will have to try harder next time. Run through that acid! Go, 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 go! As it burns, it burns us! And we ate the final pill, which allows us to eat the acid. Nice try, acid. This is the final phase. This isn't even my final power! Actually, this is our final power. We gain the ability to eat the acid. Lovely. Everyone likes puking acid all over everything. I think the pill did this to us. I'd be more upset with the state of our medicinal solutions if it wasn't for the fact that I am a mutant blob whose power comes based on his ability to vomit up the things he's eaten in the last recent minutes and use them to reach an exit door. So I guess the state of our pharmaceutical company is not really a problem I have. What do we have here? Acid reflux. Yes indeed. Time to vomit and travel with it. Have vomit will travel. Once we get down to the bottom, we can eat it, and we can prevent the floor from burning out. Good. Now we can travel down this tunnel. One speck of acid, please. And it floated away. Delicious. We have to fry this one without flying out the floor beneath us. Shouldn't be too hard as long as we can actually catch the drops we spit. Like so. Uh, now that the problem is gone, we can spew our way to victory as the floor burns away beneath us. Problem solved. Puked our way to success is like the pros. Here we come at sacrifice. Yes, indeed. We have to jump and catch it. Perfect catch. If we had missed that, we would, of course, burned to death in the giant pit of acid down below. But luckily for us, we got lucky. So let's grab that exit door and work on forwards. Instructions ignored is down to only two. That's lovely. What else is there going on in here? Over a root and thorn. I'm not sure what that's a reference to, but we're going to travel across it anyway. Ooh, there we go. And we got to go up. There we go. There we go. Good stuff. And hit that button. Boop. Opens that door for some reason. I'm not sure why we want to go over there, because we need to get down there. We need all of this puke back is the real problem. Drop down the pit. Hit the exit button. Lovely. And I need to get all this gunk back in our face. Give me the puke, please. Spew it to me. We can get a little bit by doing this trick, but I don't think we're going to get enough to let us climb back out again. It's too bad we don't have more effective puke. Eat all them pukes. Blurp, blurp, blurp. Because if we run up with nothing, we're going to be doomed. We have a long climb here with spikes all over the walls. Not exactly an ideal situation. Let's see what we can get, though. And maybe we can make our progress with what little we've got. Alright, we've got all we're going to get, so we're going to try and make it out with it. Puke your way! Ooh, nice and clear. There we go. There's a nice jump. Attractiveness, 67%. I guess these are all real stats, and the bottom one is always a lie. What do we have here in Recycle? Uh-huh. We're gonna have to use this puke to travel all this way. Not exactly how sure this is gonna work, but that's okay, we're gonna do it anyway. I need that puke back though, I need that puke. Don't don't you burn away the floor, I need that floor. And this puke. Burn it. Burn it. We need all the puke we can get. Because we're not gonna get any more after this. Alright, that'll do though for now. We need Oh come on. Burn away, dang it. There we go. I should be able to get through there now. Or not. Hmm. Apparently I can't get in that gap. My puke will, I'm sure. But I can't, actually. Can we drop a single pellet in there? Oh, it's stuck in the wall. I kind of did what I wanted. Not exactly, but I kind of did. Good enough. Can we drop one on the platform I'm currently standing on by shooting straight down? If I can shoot straight down at all, there we go. And I knocked it off. Hmm, and this is harder than I expected. Come on, puke. I need one pellet of you to stay on this platform so he can actually burn you out and I can keep you. Maybe if I jump up back up there, I'll be able to get out. 
Let's try this again. Does not want to die! Come on now, I know I'm trying to be careful here and aim these shots, but you're making me just spam them and I don't like it. Alright, we filled up that whole thing with puke already. Click that button, there we go. Can I lob one shingle shot up ahead and drop it on the platform? That might work better. Nah, it fell off. <laughs> of course it did. Alright, that might work even better. We dropped it right on the edge. Done. Perfect. Alright, get over here. Do it again. Oop. Fire one single shot up and have it land on top. Nope, not quite like that. More like this. Nope, that was not what I wanted to do either, because I fired two shots, not just one. There we go. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, now we should be able to make it out of here. Jump. And no, 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 no. The spewer game just tried to drop me down that pit. Stop trying to make me move to the one direction straight all the time. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, here we are. Holy tears. What's this about? I have to get down to that and then back over here from the looks of things. How am I supposed to... I can't... Hmm. Oh! I see those pillars now. There's a pillar here, a pillar here, a pillar here, and a pillar here. They go all the way up. It's kind of hard to see. Especially against this incredibly dark background. You see, I'm standing on one now. Whoa, no game? What are you doing? <laughs> game decided I didn't want to land there. Okay. Not the most encouraging thing when the game drops you to your death for no reason, like that, and it hit the pillar and then jumped over the side. You guys probably can't even see these pillars. I can't turn the backgrounds on, though, because the game really objects for some reason to having that and Fraps running. So we have to do it like this. <sighs> this looks like a fun one. It's about landing on pillars that throw you off as soon as you get to them. Maybe I just should not jump. That might give me a little bit less towards momentum. Might make it a little bit easier to actually stop on top of these pillars. And it just throws me off right away. I don't know. There might be something I'm doing wrong, but I have a feeling that there's not a whole lot that I am doing wrong. None of these have platforms on top, they're just spikes, so when you land on them, you go flying. Mm-hmm. That's frustrating. Come on now. I need to stop on top of this platform, that's all I want! All I want is to not fall off that spike immediately. Come on, game. Come, come on, come. Oh, nope, we're dead. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try this one again until I get over to this side of this thing, because this is gonna take me a while, so I will be right back. Alright, we've made it over here. I've eaten this whole pillar and most of this pillar. We're gonna eat more of this pillar on the way down. So we want to get as much spew as we possibly can. And let's bring down that pill. Because we're gonna need it. Jump up and grab that sucker so it doesn't bounce somewhere stupid. There we go. And we should be able to climb right over... Okay, no, game wants to kill me again. <laughs> it says climb right over here and then jump up. But it decided it wanted me to fall instead. So we're gonna eat all this gunk. We should be able to make use of most of the resources we find here to help us travel forwards. If we can stop on top of here somehow, maybe we can drop some pills in there. Good, that'll do. So that we can... Oh! 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 Spewer! No, don't do that to me. You scare me. Don't do that either. Don't fall through there. You get a bit glitchy when you fall into things like that. Hopefully this will actually hold on to me now. There we go. That'll hold me. Now if we can spew up there and build ourselves some kind of bridgey platform like we had previously for an earlier challenge. That would be lovely. Let's see if we can actually get it to bridge down to us or if it's just going to clump up in a giant mass. It looks like it's going to do a giant mass kind of thing, which is not good because it doesn't help us build in any way, shape, or form. Alright, well then, we're going to have to build over to it because it's not going to build over to us. So can I spew out this way and mill our... Oh, no, we're getting stuck in here. Spew out that way and make a bridge. Does not look like we can do that either, but we can... Oh my goodness, this is not helping at all. <laughs> it's just massing up over there. Okay, we'll eat it all. We can actually jump that far, so that worked out great. And jump to victory. There we go. Yeah, stinking hard to jump on platforms. The trick was to jump for them and hold spacebar downs, so that as you land on them, you hopped again. It kind of worked some of the time. Now we are at run. Run from the acid. This might be a bit of a challenge with the way our movement controls have been giving us a hard time, but we're going to do our best to not get murdered by the acid, and we'll see if it's enough. We'll drop down. Keep running there, spewer. Keep running. You're fighting the current here. Get over there. Dude, you're going to get murdered if that reaches you. We have to make it all the way up on here and hope that the acid doesn't block our path in the future. Once it all goes past, then we have another challenge. You have to climb this thing before this rains down on us, which is only that amount of time. So hopefully it all gets through there pretty quickly and the first drops don't immediately run over and push that button. It immediately ran over and started to push that button. So we're going to be really hard-pressed for time here because the slime is doing the least 
helpful thing it could possibly do. Thankfully, it did slow down there a little bit, so we might have a chance here before it burns us. Yes, we made it. Fantastic. Race against time there, even though how slow it felt it was. Oof. I don't know how to pronounce this word. Schism? Skiism? Schism? 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 Good enough. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay. Oh, yes, this is this one. This one's a pain in the butt, too. No wonder it's near the end. Let's jump over here and see if we can't make our way <laughs> forwards. We're dead. We have to get a whole solid beam across here so we can actually make it across. Then we have to eat it on the way back down so we can slow our descent long enough to prevent us from dying a horrible death. Puke over there a little bit now. And it all stops in a beam, which is like a, a solid wall, and we want a vertical, a horizontal wall rather, which is not what the game wants to give us. So we're gonna have to try. Okay. Try coming down here, puking upwards, because that should give us the more horizontal effect we're looking for. And then we have to climb up into it. Can we make it? No, we cannot. The game does not want to cooperate with us, so we're gonna have to climb the walls. Put some goo on the walls, please, there, spewer. Some would be nice, rather than zero. Excellent. We come over here and eat this goo on the way up, because we cannot leave very much up there, otherwise there's no way we can succeed. Succeed later on, rather. Come on, game. Cooperate with me. All I'm trying to do is climb you. There we go. And we'll come over this way and make it across. Thanks, you. Thanks, you, really? Okay. Let's head back over. We have to stop in there. No, we fell on the spike because I did not let myself enough room to stop. This is not an easy puzzle. It's just because it's fighting the physics engine, which is the least enjoyable thing about this game. The cool thing about this game is having to deal with the problem of what do I do? How do I get a puke everywhere? What's gonna... How is it gonna... What do I do? That kind of thing. Whereas the game here is more like, all right, well, I've got to figure out a way to slow myself down in this unreliable white goo while, without actually killing myself. Hmm, what do I do now? And it's not quite as much fun as the other kinds of thing. Let's climb here, Spewer. You actually have to go up, not just sit around at the same height forever. Climb, thank you, and get out of there. Excellent. Now, there might be enough slime in there to slow us down, but I would not count on it. I have a feeling we're going to plummet right through here, but we're going to do our best to slow our descent in the tunnel. Because we need to keep going down below, and we're going to plummet right into the goop and hit the spikes. Unless we get really lucky there. Ooh, we got really lucky. And door! Ooh, that was not a fun one. Okay. Ooh, I do not like that puzzle. Here we are at dive. And it's the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. It's, okay, you have to jump into this thing, which is evil, 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 without falling through it. You have to get to the end, which is also not super easy. Spew directly up into the trap and make it out without falling through the slime, which is not willing to support your weight. I got lucky. Normally when you start this game, you just plummet straight through, and it does not hold you up. That worked out much better than it could have. I remember that taking forever in the Flash version. Okay, last puzzle before the mysterious ending. What do we have here in the crux? This is when everything comes together. So I'm going to spew our way over those spikes, or into those spikes directly. Not exactly what I had in mind, but it works too, I suppose. Use our vomit for evil rather than good sometimes. Vomit over the spikes, and we hit the far side of the spikes this time. Gotta make sure we spread it out all over the place, you know, don't want to get it too used to getting hit in one shot. Applying one up, let's get over there. Good, and spew up into the trap. Now we have to eat this thing and immediately use it to slow our descent because we're jumping into... Oh, there's actually a platform there. I didn't see that. We're jumping into this area. Okay, so we're going to have to fill this place with clouds. Clouds are my least favorite power because they're incredibly hard to be conservative with. They have a tendency to spread themselves out over a large area, which is not conducive to you ever being able to use them again. Like this. I just... I can't... I can't travel through that. There's nothing there. All the other powers are pretty cool, but that one is really darn irritating. Okay, we made it. Hit that. Grab this on the way down. Now we hopefully make ourselves some kind of platform we can use to get there and back. I'm going to spew across the ceiling, see if that helps us anymore. Does not look like it did, because it all floated over that way. We need to get some on this side too, game, otherwise we're not going to be able to move. Alright, let's head over this way. And spew some down to there. But see, as soon as we spew, it like pillows everything out so you can't use it anymore. Like, I can't travel like this game. <laughs> This is just everything moves away from you and it's impossible to get through. Very frustrating. I do not like the cloud goo. The other goo is great, but the cloud goo is just annoying. Alright, grab this sucker on the way down. We're getting really low frames here for some reason. I think I might be able to spikes, which would be really weird. I'm only getting about 14, 15 frames a second. I don't understand why that is. 
Let's fire some up here now. All right, that should be enough to completely fail horribly, but we're gonna try it with it anyway. So click the button and climb that pillar. Climb the, oh, stinking cloud goo. You are the worst. All right, you know what? We might just skip until I'm over standing over here because we don't need to watch me do this 5,000 times as the cloud goo, cloud goo refuses to cooperate. So we're gonna try and go around this way and we'll recuperate more back over here. So I'll, be see I'll see you in a second. Okay, we made it. That was one heck of a long, frustrating travel. <laughs> okay, hopefully we don't mess it up now and have to do it again. Eat the pill. Jeez, Spewer is getting more and more laggy as we go for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. We're down to only 13 frames per second, and I don't like it. This game should not be that demanding. Let's get over there and eat that thing before it dissolves our floor. Jeez. Okay, eat the thing before it dissolves our floor. Get over there. We'll shoot individual pellets now because it's too dangerous to shoot groups because we will burn through our floor and there are only spikes beneath and that will make things not very much fun. We need to save as much of the goo we can because we really do not have any to spare for the final challenge. We have to climb that whole system there with only black goo. So hopefully we have an easier time of it than we're currently having. Interestingly enough, for this final challenge, there's no use for the red goo. It's never actually put to use. It's in the game all right, but it has not come back during the crux of the matter. Grab all them goops that drop down on our faces! Make sure we can actually get out of here okay. Come on, spewer. Spew! Do what you are made to do! Spew what you are made to spew! Grab it, grab it. Alright, now you gotta get up there. Perfect. Door is open, black pill is down, and we have the potential to climb our way to victory now. Only problem is, we actually do it. Well, we'll do our best. We'll launch some spew up onto that wall, and if we can, we'll build ourselves a bridge down from it. Although, Spewer's gonna have to cooperate if that's gonna happen, and so far, he hasn't been particularly cooperative. We do need to get these blobs to actually form a ladder like they do sometimes, but not most of the time that we can actually climb it, but I think what we're going to try instead is we're going to try and jump from up here and then spew onto the wall, because that might work a little bit better. So if we can jump up here and then go spew, there we go, there's a little platform for us. We should be able to use that to climb up above and spew onto there. One more spew should do it, there we go, two more spews, good enough. And now we can ladder across this way. Get, 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 come on, make a platform for me, don't just make a wall I cannot jump on. And no 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 no! Ah! We fell all the way down to the floor. Fantastic. Let's jump again and try and not suck quite so hard. Stupid game! I didn't tell you to move to the left anymore. I was telling you to move to the right. Well, I will see you when we're back at the black pill again because he really wants me to be angry now. I'll be back. Okay, so we're here again, and it looks like this game might have some kind of memory leak, because I restarted the basement collection, and now we're back up to 30 frames per second. I feel like an idiot now for not doing this earlier, because I think I played most of this game in very low frames, and I apologize for that quite a bit. But the game itself did not want me to play it in that manner. Woo! Let's just about kill ourselves the same way we did last time, jumping up in a stupid way. So let's jump over here now. We have to keep jumping, so let's eat off... Oh, not that one. That was not what I intended to do at all. Throw some more goop back up there, give us another little platform. Lovely. It's like a little pocket. Throw some goop onto this wall so we can stand on that instead. That should be just low enough for us to jump onto if we jump from the tip of the finger. There we go. It will try and throw us into the spikes though, so we have to try and stay on our toes and jump to victory. Huzzah! We made it across safely. There we go. Alright. Too bad I didn't get this to the very end. But culmination. Here we go. There's the scientist asleep on his desk. Indeed. What do we find here? Spewer! You made a bid for freedom! You've escaped your tank! Jump, little Spewer! He doesn't know what you're doing. You can escape if you go quickly. <gasps> he found you! Da, 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 da. Little boy in medical trouble. Oh, Spewer. What's going on? What's the story of this game? Do we know? He puts you in the blood bag? You're going into his blood. 
to vomit all over his insides. You're our best hopes, Buer. I have no idea how that worked. But whatever, because he's way too big to go into someone's blood. Maybe he shrinks? You're alive, kid, but you're going to have a lifetime problem of vomiting for some reason. <laughs> Tests were successful, which is great, but I don't understand how that helped. Bonus chapter unlocked, and that's what we're here for. we got to do the bonus chapter next, finish our last couple most difficult challenges. We've got acid reflux achievement. Let's take a look here at the bonus challenges. Uh-huh. This is all about not dying. So we have to catch every little glop as it falls. Oh, oh, I missed that one, but it, and we're dead. <laughs> That's why we have to grab them all, because the door doesn't open until all five of those are in, and if we miss any of these glops of goo, we fall to an untimely death. Might as well die now, because we can't make it back up to the exit from down there. So let's try and get these last couple ones. It's a good thing that we do have our game back at full responsivity, because this would not be a fun challenge, and I missed it anyway. It not be a fun challenge if we did not have some good timing with our jumps. So for this one, we have to jump when it's about there, I believe. So we'll try that. We'll jump here and grab it and fall to our deaths. We were able to grab it. We weren't able to grab it and make it back to ground safely. Hopefully we'll be able to get it this time. Come on now, game. Here it comes. Jump. Grab it. Lovely. This one's a little bit earlier. We have to grab it about here, I believe. Oh, no. We're not grabbing those ones yet. And we fell anyway. Even though it was where exactly where we thought it was. Or rather, exactly where we hoped it was coming from. The fact was that since it came from where we weren't expecting it, we weren't ready for it when it came. Jump, grab that one, lovely. Again, when it gets about there, we jump, we jump, and we grab it and go back over here. Third one, same thing. We jump, we grab it, and we go back where we came from. This is going to be a little bit earlier, though, and I might have a hard time because we jumped early. We're okay so far, though. And we made it to the exit! Huzzah! Fantastic. Holy bonus chapters! I don't, remember being, I don't remember there being that many before. There might be some bonus ones here, part of this game specifically. Let's see if we can't... We can't. Okay, we have to spew across there, I have a feeling. So let's just try it. Can we spew across there? Go, 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 go! Mm, one drop over. But we needed to get two drops over, so that did not do it. Keep going. I don't know what Pascal's Law is. That might have some relevance to this challenge. I have a feeling it probably wouldn't, really, but we're going to try it anyway. Hmm. If I spew right down there in the corner, does that help? Help us go up? No, it does not. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What's the best way to spew? What's the best way to spew? We got one drop over. Almost two. Keep going, drop. No, not quite. It's hard to get more than one drop over that gap. We could try dropping it down. I have a feeling that would not work out any better for us. There's one, and we get a second one. Nope. Lots of jump, 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 jumping around, but nothing quite getting out the way we needed to. If we aim up like this and then spew down into it, we might be able to force it out. That doesn't seem to work either. Hmm. How to regurgitate more powerfully. There's one over, but we need two over. And there's two. And I fell in the pit. Because I am a fool. But we did hit both the switches that time, so it would have succeeded. Which is unfortunate that we died immediately afterwards, but I suppose that's how it goes. And we go... Oh, nope, nope, fell in the pit again. <laughs> And we got both of the switches open too. We gotta stop doing that. Every time I get across, we fall in the pit. Alright, let's try this again. Number of tries here. If we don't get it this time, I'm gonna go look up what Pascal's Law is for one thing, and then I'm gonna try again until we get it. And I'll tell you what it is. There's one over, but we need two over. We don't have any more goop left. So I will be right back. I was looking up Pascal's Law, which talks about how pressure exerted anywhere in a confined incompressible fluid is transmitted equally in all directions through the fluid, such that the pressure ratio stays the same, which doesn't really give me too much insight here, but I had an idea about how to do this. We're making a shotgun. That's what we're doing. We fill this thing with slime, and we fire it. Perfect. <laughs> That's an awesome puzzle. I like it. I like it. Alright. Precautions. So... What do we have here? What does this do? Oh, goodness! Ah, it's the same thing we just did, except it's now full of acid. So we're going to put some uh, precautions in here. Some hazard goo. So we can handle it. Oh, God. That didn't help at all. Okay, let's try that again. Instead of blocking it completely, we're going to force it over to the other side. That should work a little bit better. 
Oh goodness, nope. <laughs> I'm trying so hard, it just doesn't want to cooperate here. Go that way. Oh, now I can't get over it. There we go. Go that way. And we got a wall over this way too. Hopefully it doesn't come down on my head immediately. It doesn't even care about my efforts to stop it. It just goes straight for me. I'm trying so hard, it doesn't want to cooperate here. Alright, here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to build a wall like that. Hopefully it'll have a hard time falling through there. No, it does not have any hard times. Although actually quite a lot less came through that time. I actually managed to get all of it. Don't need to gather all this goop up because the exit door is right down there. But I might as well get some of it. Because hey, everyone loves drinking acid. There we go. And out the exit. Zoop! Sounds good to me. This might be a little bit long episode. That might be a little bit of a long episode, depending on how long it takes us to get through Chapter X. But hopefully, it won't be too bad. We can open up that. Ow. Okay. What ha what does it do if we open this first? It opens the door on the other side. So we have to like hit that. How on earth do you get that pill without dying? Hmm. Take aim. Do we have to like shoot it out? Oh my goodness. We have to shoot it out, don't we? That would be so cool if we had to actually do that. We might actually be what our, our goal is. Nope, that just killed us. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure what we're doing here. I have a feeling it's got something to do with that, but I don't know if that's actually the case. Because we can bounce it around, but it's really hard to aim it precisely. Hmm. Problems in paradise as we vomit our way! No, nope, that didn't push it at all. It just launched it over at me. Like, I can spit in there too, and that'll launch it all over the place, but. Oh, that actually got to the exit. <laughs> that wasn't expected. Too bad I jumped into my death. Otherwise, that might have actually worked. Let's launch it down, and we'll try and spew it. No, it came over to me for some. I'm spewing it this way. Why are you moving towards me? It's like it's riding my vomit down to me. It's weird. Alright, let's try this again. We'll drop it in. Stay in there, you stinking vomit. This is not helpful. Okay. 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 Vomit up there. Come on down here. We're gonna shoot it out. I shot it, it came right at me. Come on. Pills. Pills here! Not in a helpful way, though. I can jump in there, but I immediately die because it's full of acid. I knew that was gonna happen, but I figured I might as well try it. There must be a better way to do this. I'm just getting myself killed here. There's, shooting it out of the air does not help in any way, shape, or form. There must be a better way to do this. We let it fall in. We shoot underneath it, and that lobs it up in the air. It does not get it into that tunnel. We fire underneath it, it bounces all around, and we can grab it and fall to our deaths. Stinking acid. You're making my life difficult here. I don't know how I'm supposed to tight aim this. So all it does is lob acid at me. And acid in the face is not what I had in mind for a good day. Get up there! I throw all of my puke in there. It doesn't move high enough up the wall. Okay. Try this again. Stinking button pushing. I don't even. And now there's going to be acid in the tunnel, so I can't go out. And we're dead! Yes! Perfect. Let's try this again, because this is not working out in any way, shape, or form. Let's try this again off screen, and I'll be back once we've actually gotten that thing out of there. Alright, so somehow I managed to lob it back out here. <laughs> I don't... I don't even. This game is... is pretty darn cool, but this puzzle is entirely random chance. So, we need to build our way up there, because I can't control that thing to be consistent in any way, shape, or form. Let's try and jump up this thing, and see if we can't get our way across to that button, because we're going to need to get over there if we want to actually get out of here. So I feel that opens up those doors, or at least one of those doors. If it's that one, I'm going to be mad. Alright, let's get across, hit the button, both of the doors. Awesome, that makes it a lot easier. So now all we have to do is get out of here. Climb up the walls. Nice jumping sounds. Alright, jump into the conveyor belt tunnel, and let's work our way out of here. Run, little spewer, jump to the ceilings. Nothing could possibly go wrong from doing that repeatedly. Yes, indeed. We have made it to safety, thankfully, and let's see what's in puzzle number five. This might wind up being a very long episode. Okay. I'm okay with that, though. There are some long episodes sometimes, and then they happen sometimes. Oh, getting, getting horizontal burning is very irritating here. Come on, burn horizontally. There we go. I'm gonna stay on the same height level if it's not too much trouble game. I 
need to get I need to get somewhere. Not not not. Not helping. I guess I can stick it to my own face, that kinda works out pretty well. If it's stuck to my face, I can keep it against the side. There we go. Let's get over there. Get get in the hole. Get there we go. Burn them. There we go. Keep working our way over there. Good enough. We'll get grab that one. Actually, I can leave that one in the corner there, I think. There we go. That'll do just fine for me. We'll work our way over this way. And push the button. Now we can work our way back up and go down the easy way, down this nice tunnel we built. So many blocks, the game says, but they're hardly a problem. Puke that one in there. And burn our way down. Easy road down to victory here. Yes, indeed. Zoop! And we escaped! Fantastic! A lot of digging to be done, but not actually a problem. What do we have over here? Swallow! Ooh, that sounds like something awkward. And that's acid. Fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna need to do this without knocking over the pillars of acid, because if we do that, bad things will happen. And there goes a pear, gonna knock over the pillar of acid. No, we're good. So far we're lucky anyway. Can we get out of there? Can we get out of there? We need to get the yellow pill first so we can actually survive this. Hmm, that didn't actually do anything, did it? We do need to knock over the acid pillars. Ah, 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 ah. And it killed us. Okay, let's try this again from a different section of the game. I have an interesting theory about this. We don't need... No, don't touch the acid. There we go. We do not need these bitty problems. Oh, we just made it. We don't need to worry about these petty problems for now, as long as we can make sure we get them dealt with later. So, for example, if I were to come up here... Oh, I can't make that jump. That's a bit of a problem. If I were to come over here and spew into that gunk, I should knock some acid against the walls. We should be able to get them open, no problem. There we go, there's one opened. We jump across to here. Excellent. And we'll puke down that way. Open that door. Grab the acid-eating pill and eat all of them. All of them. Okay, where are the other buttons, though? That's the question I have, because those pears are still stuck up there. That pear and that orange are up there still. I don't see any way to get them to come down. Unless there's some miraculous way to do so with the red goo, but I don't see it. Oh, those are acid blocks. Of course they are. We use the acid to open them up. Burn, 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 and we're the ones that did it. Of course, I need more acid now because it fell all over the floor. We'll go grab that again. We're probably going to need both of those fruits to actually get out the door, so we'll make sure we get both sides before we get the red pill, because once we do that, there's definitely no going back. There we go. Pear earned. We're going to make sure we have every little bit of aid we can get to make sure we get up that hill. And uh, we will eat some more poop. <laughs> poop? More puke. Eating poop is gross. Eating puke is okay. Spewer said so. Uh-huh. Let's eat up all that delicious orange juice. That's definitely what it is. Not puke at all. Nope, it's orange juice. And we're going to use it to get that orange. More orange juice. Yes. How else are you going to get more orange juice? Let's get up here and puke in a confined space. I mean, orange juice in a confined space. Yes. That's definitely what I meant. Oh, and there's acid up there. So I, I mean, orange juice. So I can't go up that tunnel anymore. We'll have to go up this one. So I can get up there with the orange juice. And we do need to have a tunnel clear of orange juice when we are not made of orange juice. Let's jump over here and grab that. I wonder what that is. Cherry juice? Cranberry? Probably cranberry. Cranberry makes everything red. Let's get up here. <sighs> Delicious cranberry juice. There we go. We made it. Okay. What's this puzzle all about? A simple plan. A difficult execution. Let's get all that green goo. Tasty. Now we need to get the black goo. Actually, we can't get the black goo quite yet, can we? I think we can, actually. Oh, I see the problem here. Ah, 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 don't do that yet. Just burn through the whole floor. And burn the hole in the floor, please. Just burn a hole in the floor. Stop bouncing back at me. I just want you to burn the hole. There we go. See, the problem here is we need to make sure we burn through here. We can't burn through there until we easily get this. I think what we could do, maybe, is we jump in here, push the button. Oh, hang on. Wow. Get out of there. We need to leave acid in this hole here, right on this spot. So we fill this in with acid. No, 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 go down there. Ah! We leave acid in here. We don't need a whole lot of it, just a little bit. On that panel, we should be able... Yeah, that'll do. 
Should be able to jump over on the way past, and it should be enough that we can actually get out of here as well. So if I jump over here and place a little bit of goo, and a little guess out, yes indeed, a simple plan, but like I said, actually quite a difficult execution, because we need to get in here and out again afterwards. So, let's drop some goo on the wall over there. That should give us a nice base of operations! And we're done. Okay. Well, you get the idea now. Hopefully we'll do a lot faster this time. We'll jump in, pick up all the green. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try again here. Grab some acid. We need a little bit of acid left on this platform, so we'll drop a couple drops up. No, that's not going to work. A couple drops down, we'll just eat it all. There we go, that'll do. And we even opened up that door for us, easy. Excellent. I like it. Jump over here, make sure we leave some goo there. We need it. If we don't get all those doors open, we're gonna have a hard time getting out of here. Yes, indeed. Alright, jump. And jump. We need to get that black pill, but not before grabbing that acid spec, otherwise it's gonna kill us. There we go. And now we can get out of here. Hopefully we don't die in such a foolish manner as we did previously. And that acid's drifting away. We need to stop moving, otherwise we're not getting out of here. Okay. Acid. On the walls. No, not in the door. On the walls. Stop rolling away, Acid, otherwise we literally lose. Uh-huh. Acid down there. We should be enough to drop down onto. Ooh, and not immediately slide to our deaths like last time. Stop sliding. There we go. Okay. So we're going to put some down on the spikes. That should be enough to hold on to us down there as well. So we'll hop down to that. Ooh, careful. Careful. The game does not want to cooperate here. It's trying to drop us to our dooms. So we'll come up here and eat that spec. Whoop! I almost fell to our deaths again. The game is trying to eat too much now. Trying to not put down enough. Trying to eat too much. No co And it just dropped me through some solid blackness. Awesome. Awesome. I'll be back when we get past that section because it does not want to cooperate. Alright, so here we are again. This is actually the second time I've done this. I've gotten in there and gotten back out again. But uh, I accidentally forgot to start recording again the first time. All you gotta do easy is start from up here, spew down right to the bottom corner, drop down, make yourself a floor, and then work your way ladder up. Not that difficult. Not the most enjoyable thing to do multiple times, but not that difficult. And then all you have to do is have enough spew left to make it up that hill, which is even just one drop. Yeah, we made it! Next level is called Tread Lightly. Have a look at that. Oh, good! This is a whole level area, but not touching the deadly buttons. So that we can make our way to the, the acid pill and then go back. And touch all the deadly buttons. So let's go all the way down. Okay. Now this one, we're going to have to run past all the buttons. Nope, that's not going to work. I thought that was what we were going to have to do, because how else are we going to get that pill down? But I think we're actually going to have to do it the way I said. Jumping over carefully, carefully, carefully. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work, though. Because if we do it like this, when we get to the bottom, we're not going to be able to reach the pill. So let's try it and let's see what happens. Never say never until after you've already said never. So keep jumping, keep jumping, keep jumping, and grab the pill. Awesome. Now if we grab all of these buttons, we should give ourselves a nice supply of acid. Possibly not enough to actually get out of here though, so I'm not sure how that's going to work because we can theoretically jump up into there, but only if we have lots of acid, which we do not really have. Hmm. Hmm de hmm. Well, let's keep burning and see if we can get up there. Come back here, acid. I need you. You can't run away. I need every speck I can get. We need all the puke in the world for this challenge. And we certainly don't have all the puke in the world. There we go. That'll do. Don't even know if we have enough puke to get out here, though, now. This is not going to cooperate, is it? We're already out of puke. I can recycle a couple blobs to burn this out eventually, but I am going to run out of them over time. I can just do like this. Keep the mouth open, hold down spacebar, and just spam click. That burns it down pretty close, especially when you're this close to it. Rather pretty quick when you're this close to it. That should work in the long run, but we're probably going to have to go back down in a second to gather up more slime. So we'll click all them buttons. Get all the slime we can get. I need all this delicious, healthy goodness. There we go. Come back down below, grab all this acid, and then we'll have to work our way up with the red pill. Yes, indeed. Hopefully, it's not that bad. It is super powerful, so if we head around this way, we should have no problem getting up that tiny gap. But, spewer, do what my controls are telling you to do. Grab it. Thank you. And we should be able to get out of here no problem. No problem at all. 
Jump and spew. Nope. That didn't work. Jump and spew. There we go. That's perfect. Tiny bit of spew is needed, and that's all. Let's get up to the exit, and we are done with this level. Fantastic. Spew! Problem solved. Mental breakdowns three. Almost. Okay. However, before we go to over and out, I'll be right back. Alright, the Giganto Challenge here, getting through all of Chapter X, continues as we move into Over and Out. What is this all about? Uh, no thanks. I don't remember any of these puzzles, honestly, but I don't like them, so, hmm. About that. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, let's eat up that one side. Let's see if we can just get up one side alone. We might actually be able to do this and not hate it forever. There we go, made it, okay. Now the challenge here is to climb across the ceiling, I imagine. Without running out of all of your goo. No! And we hit the edge. That little tiny edge there is just enough to kill you. Regurgitating, of course. Now spew some more slime up the side there. Get more slime up the side there. Good. Okay, now that should be just enough for us to actually climb out with. Climb! Climb, spewer, climb! Alright. That might be enough as well. Let's see if we can actually get through here like that. Perfect. Let me drop down below. Plunk. Why is there an acid pill over there? Oh, because there's acid on these doors. Fantastic. All right, let's get out of here. Slime up that wall. There we go. We're going to actually have to leave most of this slime intact, I think. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to climb up high enough. And if I'm stuck here now... No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, damn. We need to climb up this. Otherwise, we are stuck here. So we need to eat all that and try again. Hmm. Because we need to get out of here. Not safe as it stands. If we run out of slime here, we're in a lot of trouble. So let's get up here. Whoop! And we did not quite make it. So we'll eat up that whole side again and try again. Boy. This is problematic because we have very limited cloud left. And if we can't get up there, we're doomed. Alright, climb and spew it up there now. Oh no, that's a waste. I bet you we're done now. Let's see if I can make it. Whoa, just barely. Okay, can we make it back across this way? I'm not convinced we can. We're gonna do our best. Ooh, that actually worked out okay. We'll have to do it again back though, which is gonna cause problems. And we drop down, hopefully without wrecking everything. Oh, we got through there okay too. Let's grab the acid pill. And now we have to see if we can make it back. We have no ability to make new clouds. So if we cannot make it back, this is literally game over. And it may in fact be literally game over, because I can't jump up any higher now. Ugh, really? I can spew a tiny bit here to give us a little bit of extra height, but it does not appear to be enough. Especially since I just ate that pill off, which is just what I was going to aim for. Not ideal, we may be stuck here. I don't like these bonus challenges. I may just stop here with the bonus challenges, because as much fun as it is, I have to do all these off camera, because they're so darn fiddly. Ugh. Who knows, I may come back and add them in later, later and add them into the end of this episode, but as it looks like right now, this is just a lot of irritation. There's a lot of messing with the basic ideas that are already in the game, causing you to do things a lot more irritating late. Can I get up there? There's no way. I just cannot get high enough, and my best efforts just push things further away from me. I can eat these bottom edges, but that does not make my life any easier. Can I use three pellets to push myself up higher? I do not think so. One more try here, and if we can't do it this time, I am just going to probably give this a rest for now, because I've had enough of Spewer's little challenges. Indeed. Alright, well, that was a good effort. <laughs> I think we got pretty far in here. We might come back later on and finish them off or something like that, but as for one time, I think this is more than enough for one sitting. So, this has been Spewer, ladies and gentlemen, part of the Basement Collection. If you're interested in trying these fiendish challenges for yourself, you can play it online at Flash Games for no problem. Or you can pay $2.50 to get as part of the Basement Collection. There may be more added on the end of this video, but for now, this has been Vanguard of Valor playing the Basement Collection's Spewer, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.